的信息，小弟想用信仰的危机跟大家分享。Um, the theme uh, that I'd like to use for this convocation is the、uh, crisis of our faith.、Uh, faith in crisis, ah.、Huh? Oh, the faith in crisis. 我们的信仰在危机的当中。Um, our faith is in crisis. 什么叫做危机？ Uh, what is crisis? 危机是一个非常危险的一个情况。A crisis is a very、um, dangerous situation. 我们社会上面有经济危机。Uh, in the society, we experience economic crisis.、啊、可能政治上有政治的危机。And we also、uh, politically experience political crisis. 就财个人可能有个人的财务危机。And in terms of our personal wealth, we also face financial 危 crisis. 危机是不好的。A crisis is not something good. 因为危机是危险的。Because a crisis is something dangerous. 但是危机这个字，危险当中也包括了机会。Uh, but、uh, in this crisis,、uh, within this danger,、uh, there it offers opportunity as well. 如果你发现你进到这个危险的情况当中 ，so when you realize that you have fallen into uh, uh, something dangerous， 你马上做出一些改变。Immediately you made a change. 这个往往是你重新成长、重新得力的一个机会。So very often this is an opportunity for you to grow and to regain your strength. 我们不要怕危机。Therefore, let us not be afraid of crisis. 危机是不可以避免的。Crisis is something that is unavoidable. 但是我们可以选择从危机当中学习。But we can choose to learn from crisis. 重新得力，改变自己。And to once again renew ourselves and change ourselves. 但是最大的危机是什么 ？But what then is the greatest crisis? 不知道自己在危机当中。It is when you don't know that you are actually in a crisis. 有一个非常有名的科学实现实验。And、there is a very famous scientific experiment. 叫做煮青蛙。It's called a, a cooking the frog. 这个实验大家应该都听过。So I believe many of us have heard of this experiment. 青蛙是冷血动物。Uh, the, 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 the frog is a cold-blooded animal. 它里面没有办法维持自己的体温，像我们人一样。It is not able to maintain a, 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 a stable temperature like a human being. 对温度的感应没有那么敏感。And it is not sensitive to the change in temperature. 如果你把一只青蛙丢到滚烫的水里面。So if you throw a frog into a boiling water, the frog can still experience the heat. And they will immediately jump out of the water. Because on the internet, someone actually did this experiment. Don't think that they're so foolish that they still continue to swim in the hot water. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a little bit of knowledge. Because God has given them a And if you gradually increase the temperature, 很慢的，很慢的 ，very very gradual. 他他的身体感觉不到这个变化。Then this frog will not be able to tell the the difference. 啊，到最后就是被煮在里面就死掉了。And then ultimately, the frog would die and be cooked in the water. 最大的危机是不知道自己正在危机当中。So the greatest crisis is when we don't know that we are in crisis. 我们今天的信徒就是这样。Uh, so、um, our believers today are like this.、Uh, but God loves us. 圣灵透过启示录告诉末世信徒，末世的教会会遇到哪几种的危机 ？So in the book of Revelation, through the Holy Spirit, uh, the, uh, it, it tells us、um, the warnings to different churches. 在还没有进到危机之前，我们都知道危机的存在。So that before we enter into crisis, we already know that there lies a crisis. 甚至你在里面呢，要醒过来。And perhaps you're already in crisis, so you need to wake up. 好，那么第一节我们就来讲第一种危机。So for this first session, I'll talk, like to talk about the first crisis. 就是失落了的爱。Which is、um, the lost love. 好，我们看启示录。Uh, please turn to、um, the book of Revelation. 第二章。Chapter two. 第二章。Chapter two. 第四节。Verse four. 启示录第二章的第四节。A、Revelation chapter two verse four. 我们大声一起读。Let's read out aloud together. 一二三。One two three. 然而有一件事，我要责备你，就是你把其中的爱心离弃了。这是圣灵指责当时以弗所教会的话。
So this was the uh, words of rebuke of the Holy Spirit uh, to the um, church in Ephesus. 圣灵啊，不单只是安慰啊，圣灵还可以责备。So the Holy Spirit not only comforts, but it also can rebuke us. 今天比较强调圣灵的安慰，圣灵的恩典。啊 ，Today we mostly emphasize on the comfort and the help of the Holy Spirit. 圣灵更重要的工作就是责备。But actually, um, the more important work of the Holy Spirit is to rebuke us. 教会早期的灵工很兴旺。So in the early days of our church, the spiritual Work is a flourish. 圣灵会充满，充满的时候会透过工人或者透过啊、呃、方言来责备教会。So when one is filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, through the um, uh, interpretation of the tongues, um, the Holy Spirit will rebuke the church. 人人有时候不敢责备人。Ah,、uh, because as humans, we tend to be afraid to rebuke、啊、others. 大家客客气气的，哪敢责备别人？你哪今天哪里敢随便骂人？ Because we're very polite to one another, so which one of us here dare to、uh, to rebuke others? 这是圣灵讲的话，很尖锐。很利，那个剑好像很两刃的利剑。Uh, but here the rebuke of the Holy Spirit is just like a two-edged sword; it's very sharp.、Uh, 那当时圣灵责备以弗所教会之前，也是赞美他们一下，鼓励他们了一下。Uh, but at that time, before the Holy Spirit rebuked the, Ephes- the church in Ephesus, it also complimented them first.、Uh, 我们看二章的第一节到第三节。To encourage them, so let's now read、uh, chapter two, verses one to three. 二章的一节到第三节。Uh, chapter two, verses one to three. 三 one to three. 你要写信给以弗所教会的使者，说呢，右手拿着七星，在七个金灯台中行走的说：“我知道你的行为，劳碌，忍耐，也知道你不能容忍恶人。你也曾试验那自称是使徒却不是使徒的，看出他们是假的来。”第三节。你也能忍耐，成为我的名，劳苦，并不乏倦。以弗所教会有很多的优点。So the church in Ephesus has many um a good traits. 以弗所是个大城市。Um, Ephesus is a big city. 保罗在那边建立的教会已经有几十年了。And there, Paul established a church for tens of years. 啊，在使徒约翰写起书录的时候，以弗所已经是一个成熟的教会。So when the apostle John wrote the book of Revelation, the church in Ephesus is already a mature church. 因为真理上面他们是站得住。So they can stand fast in the truth. 他们不可不可容忍恶人在教会。And they were not able to tolerate the evil in the church. 这里告诉我们，教会有时候有恶人哦。So this also reminds us that sometimes in the church there are also evil people. 我们不要以为教会每一个人都是好人。So we do not have, we cannot assume that. Everyone in church are good. 大部分的人都是好人，但是有时候教会有恶人。A majority of the people in church are good, but sometimes there are evil people in the church. 犯罪不悔改的人。There are people who have committed sin and refuse to repent. 再来呢，不守规矩的人。And next, there are people who do refuse to keep the laws and regulations. 在乱教会的人。And there are people who try to create chaos in the church. 但是以弗所教会很成熟。呃、uh, ，But the church in Ephesus is very mature。不管你是什么人，只要你是恶人，教会就责备你，教会就来规劝你，或者是停止你的工作。So regardless who you are, if you are evil, uh, then the church will rebuke you or even stop your ministry in the church. 教会不怕恶人的，教会不要怕恶人。So the church uh sh- uh should not be afraid of the evil people. 如果不悔改，就请他走。So if they refuse to repent, then we in we 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 invite them to leave. 啊，不守规矩就要责备。And if they refuse to keep the rules, then they shall be rebuked. 啊，这个是很重要的。So this is very important. 这孩子，以弗所教会会试验你是不是个使徒啊。And next, the church in Ephesus would test whether you are an a true apostle. 啊，当时的没有那个制度。In those days, the organization structure of the church is not as healthy as today. 有一些人到处跑啊，说我是使徒啊，我在传福音啊，你们要接待我啊。And there are people who would go everywhere and tell them that I'm an apostle, so you have to receive me. 啊，那教会呢不是很清楚到底你是不是个使徒。And the churches then were not very clear whether you are truly an apostle. 但是很简单，听听你讲的道就知道你是不是使徒。Uh, but something a、uh, uh, very simple hack is that to listen whether、uh, to listen to your message, then we can tell whether you're a true apostle. They know the word very well. So they know the word very well. So the more you hear the word, then you you know more. Ah, brothers and sisters, also, you always hear, you always absorb knowledge. Ah, 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 you always absor
But and if a speaker stands on the pulpit and begins to speak, you can tell that his message is strange or not. So they will distinguish what is true and what is false. So therefore, they were able to differentiate between the false and the true apostles. 再来呢，他们又会忍耐。And next, they were able to tolerate. 教会可能很多圣工，很多 program， 很多活动。So perhaps the church has a lot of different sacred works and activities. 要煮饭啊，要接待啊，要什么啊 ？So there's the cooking work and the、uh, hospitality work. 就是很做很多工作，但是都不会说太累就不做了。So there are many ministries in the church, but you will not say that I'm too tired, then I just quit. 好了，刚刚讲的都是优点。So what we just talked about were the good points of the church. 表面看来非常好啊。So on the surface, the church looks very good. 如果今天我们太平洋教会，哇，又会分辨真理，又会斥责恶人，又不会困倦。So today, if the Pacific Church can differentiate the truth, can rebuke the evil, and can tolerate, 又会分辨真理，真假使徒。And can differentiate between the true and the false prophet, apostles. 是不是很好？ Then isn't that a great church? So I believe you would be a model church. But the way humans look at the church and how God looks at the church is different. A human looks at the superficial. The outward, but the God in the Holy Spirit looks the deepest, innermost part of your hearts. Ephesus 教会做了那么多事情。So the church in Ephesus, they did a lot of things. 但是他们缺少一个最重要的关键的因素在里面。But they lack a very important, uh, basic thing. 是缺了什么 ？And what did they lack? 第四节。Let's read verse four. 圣灵责备他。And the Holy Spirit rebuked them. 你把当初的那个爱，当初的那个爱丢弃了，离弃了。You have left your first love. 什么意思 ？So what does this mean? 有时候我们觉得说，哇，这个教会活动很多，这个人做很多事情。Sometimes we find that, oh, this church has a lot of activities, and this person does a lot of work. 一定是很爱神啊。So he must love the Lord a lot. 其实不一定。But this may not be true. 人可以为了圣工很忙。Some people may be busy for church work. 活动可以很多。And he may organize a lot of activities. 但是里面这里面那个动力不是因为爱神而做的。Uh, but the motivation within him may not be done out of love for God. Sometimes we do church work uh, because uh, out of a sense of responsibility. And sometimes we do it uh, for the sake of the compliments or praises from others. And sometimes we have no choice but to do it very unwillingly. And we do things not because from the deepest of our hearts that we love a God. This is what is important to us. What is important to us in relationship with God? What is important to us in relationship with God? What is important to us in relationship with God? What is important to us in relationship with God? What is important to us in relationship with God? What is important to us in relationship with God? What is important to us in relationship with God? What is important to us in relationship with God? What is important to us in So here emphasize the very important love, which is the first love that is the most um hot. Ah, 当你一开始看到一个人的时候 ，when you first met a person， 有一次你看到你喜欢的人的时候 ，especially when you see a person that you like， 通常那个强感觉都很强烈。So very often the feeling is very strong. 通常你为了要得到他，为了要追求他，你会花尽你所有的力量，把你的心都掏出来，钱包当然要掏出来。So very often. In order to chase or to get this person that you like, you would even uh, uh pluck out your hearts and spend everything in your wallet to pursue this person. Especially when a boy chases a girl. Uh, before you get her. Uh, most often, that is when you uh, you are at your best. Um, there is a brother. And uh, uh, was it was um in a relationship uh, with a sister. They lived in three cities that are separated about three hundred and fifty kilometers. So they lived in cities that are separated about three kilometers. Three hundred kilometers. Ah, three hundred kilometers away. Two hundred miles. Two hundred fifty miles. It's about two hundred and fifty miles. Car needs three hundred three. Ah, car needs three hundred three. So when they drive, it takes three hours drive. Wow, he wanted to chase this sister. So in order to chase this sister, one day in the morning, five o'clock, he drove to another city, Shuanxi. 
So uh, right after work on a Friday at five o'clock, he would drive for three hours to go to the next city to have to keep the Sabbath there. 一开始教会的人看到这个弟兄为什么会跑那么远来守安息日 ？So in the beginning, the church members there were wondering. 那么热心啊 ！Wow, he is so um dedicated. He drives three hours to come here for service. 后来发现。哇，为什么跑那么远上来聚会，就是为了这个姐妹 ？But afterwards, they realized that he drives so far in order to woo this sister. 不是 woo 了啊，就是去 chase 了啊。In order to chase this sister. 啊 ，woo 就比较难听一点啊，好像害她这样子。她是真的是喜欢的。Woo is just more negative, so he he actually really liked her. 那礼拜天又开三个钟头车，又回到家里。Then on Sunday, he would also drive three hours to return home. 他住在别人家或者住旅馆了。So on the weekend, 不能住在姐妹家嘛，保守圣洁。Yeah, he would stay at um hotel or at a member's home. 来回六七个钟头。So the round trip takes him six hours. 汽油也是钱。So gas needs money. 然后呢，住住宿也是钱。Lodging also needs money. 当然还要去跟这个姐妹交往也要花钱。And to spend time with the sister, he has to uh use some money. 哇，但是喜欢呢。Uh, but he likes her. 当你喜欢的话，三百公里都很近。So if you like someone, three hundred kilometers is very near. 每天就是等着那个周末，我要开三百公里。So every day he would just wait for the weekend so that he can drive the three hundred kilometers. 开的时候也是觉得很快乐，哇，要见面了。So even as he drives, he's so happy because he's gonna see her. This is love. This is first 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 love. Then he start thinking that if he does this um for a long term, it's uh it's uh it's uh, it's waste a lot of money. So he decided to marry her. 对不对？娶回来最划算，每天都见得到，又不用付出那么多。Uh, because it's most economical to just uh marry her. 大部分的人追太太的时候都是这种的。啊、so most people, when they chase after their uh, wives, um, they are so um, zealous. 但是问题是，娶到的人几个对太太还是当初追她一样那么好的。But now the question is that、uh, how many of us here, after you have um won your wife over, that you will still love her as your first love? 很少。A very few of us. 找了嘛，都是自己的人。Oh,、uh, because you have already gotten her. 干嘛对她那么好 ？So why do I have、啊、to be so good to her still? 来煮饭，洗衣服。Okay, go cook and、uh, do the laundry. Take care of the kids. Ah, 太太说可不可以出去吃一个饭呢、啊？哎呀，外面吃很贵，赶快煮，赶快吃。Then the wife asks, "Can we just go out eat at the restaurant?" No, hurry up, go cook. Ah, outside is too expensive. We need to save up. Wow, 对不对 ？Am I right? 一开始追的时候不是这个款呢。So in the beginning, when you chase your wife, this is not the brand that you. 得到了应该对她更好才对啊。So so after you have gotten her, you should treat her even better, isn't it? 结果呢，就理所当然。But the result is that you take her for granted. 我们对神的心，我们对主耶稣的心就是这样。So our hearts towards God, towards the Lord Jesus, is also like this. 哇，刚刚信主的，刚刚追求主的时候，刚刚认识主的时候。So in the beginning, when we first got to know the Lord, when we try to pursue to know Him. We are very zealous. We could couldn't wait to come to church. There is a brother who told me. He told me that twenty years ago, when I first came to church, every day I was waiting for the Lord. 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 Every day I was Okay, and sometimes he would even have a full bladder. But he said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I delay some more, I'll waste two minutes. I will have to rush to church and go to the restroom at church." I said, "Are you sure you're uh this is bad for your health? It can it will hurt your bladder." He said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I delay some more, I'll waste two minutes." He said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I delay some more, I'll waste two minutes." He said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I delay some more, I'll waste two minutes." He said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I delay some more, I'll waste two minutes." He said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I delay some more, I'll waste two minutes." He said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I delay some more, I'll waste two minutes." He said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I delay some more, I'll waste two minutes." He said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I delay some more, I'll waste two minutes." He said, "No, I can't. Uh, I have to hold it because if uh uh if I del
忍不住，忍住小便，都要赶快先到教会。So even if he had 晚间聚会下班。So even if he had to hold his bl bladder, he would rush to church for the evening service, even without skipping, even skipping dinner. 礼拜六更不用讲了，整天来。So we don't have to even talk about Sabbath. He would spend the entire Saturday at church. 我说听他这个见证，那我问他，那为什么现在礼拜五没看到你 ？So then after I heard his testimony, then I asked you, then why is it that now I don't see you on Friday evening services? 他说不好意思，他没有讲原因。He said, Oh, I'm really sorry, but he didn't give me the reason. 这个都是人。So this is a human. If you don't have a regular flow of new love, new love in this relationship, so if you do not renew this love, then you will. This fire, this love, will slowly die out. So if you do not try to renew this relationship, then this um uh 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 flame of love will burn out. So if you do not try to renew this relationship, then this um uh 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 Flame of love will begin to diminish. So, like fire, just so many. You burn it, and then it will burn out. Uh, because this is, uh, you only have so much uh, logs to 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 burn it with. 除非你一直加碳，一直加木炭。Unless you continue to add charcoal or of logs onto the flame. 一直给它吹风。Continue to flame the the fire. 它可以维持这个温度，甚至可以更大的温度。Only then can the temperature of the love be maintained or even be higher. 但是我们今天呢，慢慢。已经失去对神起初的爱。你不是没爱心，但是没有起初的爱心。But today we have slowly, gradually lost our first love towards God. It's not that we don't love God anymore, but it's slowly turning cold. 表面我们还是爱主。So on the surface, it seems that we still love God. 一个礼拜有机会一次啊。So at least one once a week, I go to church. 圣公有安排还是会来。And when the church assigns me work, I still do them. 是里面那个火热的心啊，那个很兴奋，那个很被主吸引的心。早就不见了。Uh, but this fiery flame of faith within us that、uh, is so greatly attracted to to God is gone. 没有这个爱就变表面化喽。So without this um love, then everything becomes very superficial. 对啊，就是为了责任而做喽。We do things out of responsibility. 今天很多夫妻关系都是剩表面化而已。And today, um, there are many husband and wives a、uh, a relationship is also very superficial. 剩下责任而已。And all is Left of their relationship is only responsibility. Because the love has already gone. This is the problem. So this is the、uh, great problem. This is the problem. And this is a crisis. The Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So therefore, the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked the church then. So the Holy Spirit has already rebuked But deep down inside us, our love towards the Lord Jesus is it still there? This is to examine. So we need to examine ourselves. Why did we lose the first love? So how how did we end up losing this first love? This we from human relationships to think about it. So if we meditate on this from the perspective of a human relationship, we can find the answer. Okay, two people get married. Family relationship. Why did they get married after marriage? 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 Their love becomes a colder. Ah, this is definitely have a lot of reasons. And perhaps、uh, there are a few reasons for this. But one main reason, maybe, is that in the relationship, there was a third person. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a third person came into the relationship. Ah, could probably be because a So that very naturally, your love for your spouse would decrease. 如果被外面吸引到某一个地步 ，so if you are attracted by an external uh uh attraction， 可能就会真的是会走差了。Or party, then very likely you would go the wrong way. 我们看雅各书。Let's turn to the book of Song of Songs. James. Sorry, uh, the book of James. 新约的雅各书。James in the New Testament. 第五节。Chapter five. 第四节，好。第四节，四章第四节。啊、uh, ，Chapter Four, Verse Four。雅各书。James。第四章第四节。Chapter Four, Verse Four。我们一起读。Let's read together。一二三。One, two, three。你们这些淫乱的人啊，岂不知与世事为友，就是与神为敌吗？所以，凡想要与世事为友的，就是与神为敌的。好，第五节。Verse Five。
你们讲经上所说的是突然的吗？神所赐住在我们里面的灵是恋爱、治愈、嫉妒的吗？这里告诉我们，神的灵在我们里面是在火烧一样啊。So here tells us that the spirit of God that lives in us is just like a flame, burning flame. 神,神非常爱我们。A God truly loves us. 神对我们的爱从起初到现在没有改变过，没有减少过。God's love from the beginning to the end never changes, never decreases. 但是我们对神的爱呢，就越来越少。But yet our love towards God keeps decreasing. 为什么 ？Why? 这里说了，有可能是因为你跟世俗，你跟他，你跟世俗很接近。So here tells us the reason. It's because you are very close to the world. 与世俗为友啊。And that you are friend, you are friends with the world. 这个为友不是说啊，我跟外面有一些朋友认识，没有信主的人是交朋友，不是这个意思。So to be friends with the world does not mean that you have non-believing mem-、uh, members as your friends. 我们基督徒一定要在外面有朋友。As Christians, we must have friends outside the church. You 没有朋友怎么传福音 ？Because if you don't have these friends, then how can you preach? 你不要以为说我在外面没有一个朋友就是很属灵。So don't think that oh, I don't have any friends outside church means that you are very spiritual. 不是。No. 你一定要在外面交朋友。You must make friends outside the church. 你才有办法灵恩布道会的时候邀请人来。Only then during uh evangelical services you can invite friends over. 但是你交朋友不是为了交朋友而交朋友。But you make friends outside, not for the sake of making friends. 你更不是交了朋友被他影响了你的思想、你的行为。And not to make friends so that they can influence your thoughts and your actions. 你交朋友是为了要拉他来救他灵魂啊。You make friends with them so that you can bring them to church and save their souls. 但是你世俗为友就是你被他影响。But if you are friends with the world, means you are influenced by them. 你的心已经被他带走了。And your hearts have been taken away by them. 你的想法已经变成世俗的想法了。And your thoughts have become the the thinking of the world. 这个就是内心的问题。And this has to do with the problem in your heart. 今天很多基督徒来教会。So today there are many Christians who come to church. They do come physically to keep the Sabbath. And they do church work. But their thoughts in their hearts are no longer different from that of the world. They watch the entertainment of the world. They listen to the music of the world. And their thoughts is just like that of the world. So it's just like a couple. 请问，结婚之后可不可以有异性朋友 ？So let me ask you a question: That after marriage, can you still have a platonic a friend? Uh, can you have friends of the opposite gender? 有人说了，朋友而已嘛。So some people say, "Oh, we're just friends." 好，你小心一点。But let me tell you, be careful. 你外面所谓的异性朋友，要一起吃饭，要一起聊天，一起坐车。So if you have、uh, after marriage, you have a friends of the opposite gender. You will eat with them, drive with them, and chat with them. You 花那么多时间跟这个异性，又不是你的配偶。And you spend so much time of this person of the opposite gender who is not your spouse. 你的心迟早会偏你的，一定会偷走的。And gradually, your heart will be led astray and will be stolen. 如果你弟兄来说，你外面有一个异性朋友可以谈心呢、啊，整天花时间在一起啊。So, if you,、uh, for example, if you are a brother and there's a、uh, someone of opposite gender, you that you can uh, 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 share confidential things. 哈，你太太一定很嫉妒。Then your wife will,、uh, of course, be very jealous. 怎么你可以这样花那么多时间跟她在一起 ？How can you be like this? You spend so、啊、much time with her. 他说你的心都跟她在一起了。And your hearts are all on her. 今天神就是这样嫉妒。So today God is as jealous as this.、啊、我的孩子，我所爱的属灵的心腹，这是教会。Oh, my children! They are spiritually my bride, which is the church. But in her heart, is full of the world. How did this happen? 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 Uh, during sermons, I would see the congregation; their heads are looking down. Why are their heads looking down? Thank you, Lord. You today have no head down. Thank the Lord. I see that no one's head are looking down. Some head down. Some people are looking down. Some people are just always looking down because they're just swiping the handphone. And some are just watching the news. Ah, in the Chinese lunch, they are also watching the world. And during the lunch at the fellowship hall, they will also、uh, use their cell phones. 
在世界还看不够，来到教会心都还没有在神的殿。So、uh, outside the church, they have not had enough of the news, and when they come to church, they still have to look at the cell phone. 科技越发达，心越不能专。So the more advanced technology is,、uh, the less our hearts can focus. 真的，我看到有时候一些夫妻坐在一个高级的餐馆吃饭。So it's true. Very often, I would see couples. They would eat in a very high-end restaurant.、Oh. 嗯、然后坐下来呢，就自己划，两个人自己划自己的。<laughs> and after they sit down. They both would just swipe、啊、on their own individual phones. Oh, 住的地方有一个高级的餐馆，在路边露天的地方，他们坐在那里。So near where I live,、uh, there is a very high-end restaurant with an open, open air, uh, 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 area, and I didn't go in. Patio, uh, patio, open air patio. I didn't go in, but I can see from outside. 那么好的环境，如果进去坐着吃就好了啊。So I said, "Wow, such a nice ambiance!、Uh, but if only I could go in, that's great." 看两个人穿穿着光鲜高级，有钱，两个俊男美女坐在那边。But I see this couple; they dress so well. 坐下来。那边有点餐，就是你整个看手机。And they are very good looking, and but after they ordered the food, I just saw them both just kept looking at the handphone. 我的结论是一定是夫妻。So my conclusion is that so my conclusion is that they must be a married couple or that they have been together for a long time. 刚刚初恋的这样子，肯定追不到了嘛，对不对 ？Because had they been a a a a new lovers, then he will not be able to win the girl over. 啊，所以有时候啊。我们跟神的关系就是慢慢被别的东西偷走我们的心。So very often,、uh, our relationship with God is just like a relationship where our hearts is gradually being stolen. 啊，可以说灵恩会那么重要。Uh, for example, the spiritual convocation is so important. 请一天假来礼拜五灵恩会很困难吗 ？Is it that difficult for you just to take one day off from work? 很多信徒告诉我，哇，感谢神了，我现在做了这个工作，三个礼拜假，四个礼拜假。呃、uh, ，many. 我我说美国的假那么多啊。So I, I've met members in the U.S. who tells me that thank God that now、uh, with my job I have three to four weeks of days off. 甚至一个告诉我有两个月的假一年。I said, wow, the U.S.、Um, workers have so many days off, and some、uh, members have two months off. 但是为什么灵恩会的时候请假来的人那么少 ？But then why is it that during spiritual convocation so few members take time off from work? 一天很宝贵。One day is very important, but I can reserve it for my vacation. You will go on a cruise, and I will go back to Taiwan. I will use it to go on a cruise or to go back home to Taiwan. So attending spiritual convocation, it's a waste of time. Of course, you say in your hearts, you will not dare say it out. But I just go to church on Saturdays. That's enough. Do you remember what I just said earlier? But do you remember the example that I told you earlier? 早一点见主耶稣，那一泡尿都要忍住。That that member that for the sake of um being able to see the Lord earlier, he would hold on to his bladder and then rush to church. 饭都没吃。He did. He even skipped his dinner. 这个就是主耶稣在找的爱。So this is the kind of love that the Lord Jesus is looking for. 主耶稣说，不要告诉我你有在做圣工啊。So the Lord Jesus says, don't tell me that you have a done church work. 不要告诉我说你只你会分辨真假。I don't tell me that you know how to differentiate right and wrong. 那个很重要。That is important. 但是主耶稣问你当初对我的关系，你当初看重我的心，今天在不在？ But what the Lord Jesus wants from you is that that first love that you had for me is it still there? So, perhaps our hearts have been stolen. So, perhaps our hearts have been stolen. Second reason, why our first love is gone. Why is our first love gone? So, let's look at the Book of Mark. 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 Matthew twenty four verse twelve. Let's read together. One, two, three. And begin. Because the law is fulfilled in the Lord Jesus, who will abound. Many people 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 will ab
you are the one who caused me to fall. Then you have to pay for my medical expenses. So this kind of cases happen the most in China. So in in those countries, we were told that uh, don't help those who have fallen, otherwise they might in turn extort you. So I'm not sure if this kind of things happen in the U.S. Uh, but because lawlessness has increased, people become very fearful. Uh, we, we, we are afraid to help others. And we're afraid to love others. Uh, but in the church, we cannot be influenced by this. So what is the thing that attracts uh, people the most in the church? First, it's the truth. Uh, the truth must manifest and proclaim the truth. And this is most important. But after we have shared the truth, then what? If the church is so cold, and you don't um, interact with one another, all you do is to just to rush home. So regardless how eloquent you are, you cannot uh, keep the members. Regardless how pure your doctrine is, you cannot keep the people. And especially you cannot attract the truth seekers. Or keep them uh, because the church needs to maintain a certain temperature. The church has to maintain that high temperature of the first love. So this has to be started and led by the council members. Then the members would follow. And the third reason, how, did we, how could we lose the first love? It's because we have forgotten the grace of God. It's just like a couple. If you uh, stop thinking of, of the good of your spouse, and all you ask is of him to give of you, then you will be disappointed. Because the, your spouse would also ask of you. Uh, you didn't also treat me well. So why then do I have to be good to you? But if on the other hand, you always reflect on the good points of your spouse. Then you will be grateful. Your spouse may not be perfect. Just like you yourself is not perfect. Uh, but the, uh, your spouse has still chosen you. <laughs> so your spouse can choose not to have you. Are you that great? Look at the mirror yourself. Are you that pretty? You're not that, you're just so so. Are you that smart? <laughs> and very often you do foolish things. Are you good tempered? But often you also have bad temper. So your spouse can choose not to have you. Don't think that you are so high and mighty. But if you reflect and see that, oh yes, my spouse still accepts me and tolerate me, then of course I have to show tolerance to my spouse. So the same with our relationship with God. God truly loves us. So even though we're not good enough, God still accepts us and He still loves us. So even if we spiritually cultivate ourselves uh, all our lives, we cannot uh, meet up the standard of God. But God would still accept us. Uh, but as soon as we forget the grace of God, then we will gradually lessen our love towards God. Therefore, we have to constantly uh, reflect on the grace of God. So the reason why we come to spiritual convocation is for us to reflect on the great grace of God in our lives. So the final reason as to why our love towards God has lessened so I feel that it has to do with the pandemic. So after the pandemic, there is a group of people whose love towards God has turned cold. Um, there's not a lot, just a, a small group. So the pandemic is a time of test. Uh, am I right? So after the pandemic, uh, the church has lost a group of people. What are we afraid of? I'm afraid of the pandemic. 
So when the pandemic is most serious, it's normal for us to fear it. But if you are still afraid of the pandemic, but if at this moment you are still afraid of the pandemic, now you are still afraid of the pandemic, and you are still afraid of the pandemic, and you are still afraid of the pandemic, still afraid of the pandemic, and you are 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 still afraid of the pandemic, and So, who are you worshiping at home? Who are you worshiping at home? You're just uh, watching TV. You're just 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 watching TV. You're So that you also have the opportunity to be loved. This relationship in God with God will be closer. You come to church, you come to church. 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 So if you reduce your church attendance, then your love towards God will slowly decrease. Ah, so we come to the book of Hebrews, chapter ten. Now let's turn to um the book of Hebrews, chapter ten. Hebrews chapter ten, verse ten. The second chapter, verse ten. 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 You must not forsake the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as we see the day approaching. So the Bible tells us that the days are coming when we will need to be more careful. So how to stir up that love? Love is not something that we can do by ourselves. Love is not something that we can do by ourselves. Love is not something that we can do by ourselves. Love is not something that we can do by ourselves. Love is not something that we can do by ourselves. Love is not something that we can do by ourselves. Love is not something that we can do by ourselves. Love is not something that we can do by ourselves. Love is not something that we can do by ourselves. A first is to repent. 第二就是要在神面前，我们要在团契的生活再次建立起来。A second is we have to redevelop this life of fellowship. 大家互相的鼓励。And assemble and to encourage one another. 重新把起初的爱心把它召回来。And to find back that first love that you have lost. 弟兄姐妹，我们回想一下。Uh, brothers and sisters, let us reflect. 什么东西？ Uh, so what are the things that have made you distant from God? So let us uh, take uh, our own love and uh, compare it with God's love. Let us take our own love and compare it with God's love. Let us take our own love and compare it with God's love. Let us take our own love and compare it with God's love. Let us take our own love and compare it with God's love. Let us take our own love and compare it with God's love. Let us take our own love and compare it with God's love. Um, there is a truth seeker. He heard that the church had a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual convocation. Oh, that tomorrow there will be a spiritual But spiritual convocation, I have to grasp hold of the opportunity. I will cancel the appointment and come for spiritual convocation. So when I heard that, I was so touched. So this is what we call the first love. So for the sake of the Lord Jesus, I don't care about anything. All I want is to draw close to the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let me ask you: Is your first love for the Lord still there? How do you know that your first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for the Lord is still there? So then, how can we find out that our first love for Romans. Romans, uh, chapter five. Fifth chapter. Verse five. Romans five, verse five. This is very important. One thing to write down. This verse is very important. Please underline it. 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 Please underline it.
you no longer can love others. And where does the problem lie? Because you feel that the love you receive from God has lessened. But if a person uh, focuses priority on prayer and is often filled with the Holy Spirit, and even if he is in tribulation, he will feel that God still loves him. I have seen such members. Members who live in great difficulty love the Lord more. The poorer they are, the more they love God. The more sick they are, the more they love God. Because in their tribulation, they kept praying and they are kept filled with the Holy Spirit. So therefore, in the tribulation, God kept pouring down the Holy Spirit and the love on them. And this is the, the this is this is the crux of the matter. So now we have left with 15 minutes. Let us put it in prayer. Uh, may the Holy Spirit once again pour down the love of God inside of us. And this will be the beginning of the work of the Holy Spirit. Last night, our true seeker, Bin Bin, has received the Holy Spirit. And this morning, we have a brother uh, who's been moved by the Holy Spirit and beginning to speak in tongues. Therefore, the Holy Spirit is beginning to work. So we ask the Holy Spirit to pour down the love of God in us so that we can love God more. Let's together come to the front and pray.